Hi, this is Pauline from the Reach Museum with a Reach at Home video. And I want to introduce you to one of my favorite plants in the shrub step, Artemisia tridentata, also known as Big Sagebrush. Now this one's not very big, it's only a few years old, but sagebrush can grow up to 10 feet tall and live 50 years or more. What other plants live that long? Well, trees do. Do you think sagebrush is a tree? What makes it different from a tree? One thing is that even though it has these very woody stems like a tree branch, you can see there are lots of stems, not just one main trunk. Here in Eastern Washington, we have really hot, dry summers. In fact, throughout the entire year, we only get an average of about eight inches of precipitation. That's not very much. Yet sagebrush thrives in these dry conditions. How does it do it? Sagebrush has superpowers. Actually, they're adaptations, and every plant has them. Adaptations are what help a plant survive in its unique habitat. Because think about it, a plant can't just get up and walk away if it needs more water or less sun. So let's look at sagebrush adaptations. One is the color. These light grayish green leaves will reflect a lot of light so that it doesn't get too hot and lose a lot of moisture. Also, look how small the leaves are. Only about an inch long. You don't need to have big leaves when you live in a very sunny environment. If you take a look up close or feel with your fingers at one of, the, on one of these leaves, the surface is fuzzy. Now, plants don't grow hair. But these tiny structures on the surface will actually trap moisture even when it's really windy. One more adaptation that you can't see unless you look underground, the roots. If we look at this poster from the Sage Grouse Initiative, you can see how deep the taproot of the sagebrush goes. Six or seven feet underground. It even has these shallow roots that spread way out to gather light precipitation that doesn't soak very deep underground. So if you see a shrub in the shrub step, how do you know it's a sagebrush? One clue is the shape of the leaves. Sagebrush has three lobes or points on its leaves, like a trident. That's why it's called Artemisia tridentata. But another big clue is the smell. When you get close to a sagebrush, you can really tell because of its pungent scent. Now a smell like that might be a clue that this plant has chemicals that are useful. And in fact, people have used it as medicine or to keep other smells away. Sagebrush is a plant with many adaptations. In our next video, we're gonna learn why sagebrush is such an important shrub in the shrub step.